guys, it's Jamie today, and I'm going to show you how to make my original design. And this is by me, by the way. And this is called the Split Braid, and this kind of looks crazy right now. But this looks actually, looks better. And it looks, in the back side is actually a braid, so I call it the Split Braid, because like half of it isn't a braid, and the other half is. And this is the signature side. And here it is in rainbow. So before we start, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. And also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, they will be down below. I have two accounts, by the way. And a main account and a rainbow loom account. And also use the hashtag AsianGirl underscore bracelets if you want to show me anything. So you need a loom. You're going to need a... Whoa. Okay, sorry. You're going to need a hook. You're going to need a clip. I'm using a C clip today. And also you're going to need as many bands as you like. I'm using black. I'm using black, green, and yellow. So first, we're going to start off with the red arrow facing away from you. Let's get the clip out of the way. And I'm going to start off with my black bands. And I'm going to place a s double bands. There's two. So I'm going to... Oh my gob. I'm going to place it out like that. And then I'm going to place my yellow band and place it diagonally. And these are all double bands, by the way. And you're basically making a single chain. So it's not that hard. Just gonna place a single chain. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm gonna keep on doing that till you reach the end of the loop. So I'm very. Ooh, I apologize for not. um posting any rambling videos uh, last week because I uh, didn't really have enough time to film after I filmed like the back to school stuff but I hope you like my back to school series so far and comment down below for more back to school videos and next week is the week I start school so I might not upload as often but I still upload so right now I'm going to go off camera because I'm taking forever. I don't know why, but please pause to re or rewatch the video part the instructions. This is what your loom should look like when you're finished. And now we want to place our cap band. So I'm going to take a single black band and twist it around this peg twice. So you twist it like that and wrap around like that. So there's our cap band. And now you can go ahead and push your bands down. I don't know why I'm so far away from the camera. But now you want to have your red arrow facing towards you. And let's start the hooking process. So this is a very easy hooking process. It's very similar to the single chain. So what you're going to do is pull the cap band back. Grab this band. And... Instead of looping it on this side, you want to go up one peg. So, when you're doing a single chain, you usually go on this peg, but this time you do it on this peg. And then you go in this peg right here, grab the la uh, last two bands, and you stretch it across diagonally to this peg. And you want to keep on doing that, so pull this band back, grab the bottom two bands, and stretch it that way. And you want to keep on doing it till you reach the end of the loop. Pull all these bands back and loop this up here. Two pegs up, diagonally. Push all these bands back, grab these bands. And you want to go stretch to this peg. And I'm going to show you one more time, or two more times. Push these bands back, grab these last bands. Why is it not focusing? Oh my glob. Okay, so you want to stretch it to 
bit pegs across like that. And one more last, sorry about the shaky camera. My hook just hit the camera. One last time, bring these two bands diagonally to this peg right here. And now I'm going to go off camera so you can kind of see half of the braid forming. So please pause to catch up and I'll be right back. Okay, so when you're at this point, you want to go in this peg, grab this band, and you just want to place it on this peg right here. And you can't really see that. And then you go in this peg, grab this last black band, and pull it towards here. Now let's take our extension color. Mine's going to be black. I'm going to put my hook through all these bands. And place my band through like that. And now you can carefully pull it off the loom. Okay, that wasn't really that careful. <laughs> but this is what the split braid should look like. And now let's add our extension. So we can put our bracelet aside. And we're going to take our loom and have the arrow, red arrow facing away from you. And I'm going to take green and yellow ex extensions. So I'm just going to make a single chain with single bands. And I'm going to go up seven times because that's how big my wrist is. And it depends on your wrist. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Turn our loom around. And I'm going to get whatever is on my hook, and it should be these two bands right here. I'm going to place it on this peg. And if you can see that, please focus on my lower. And you'll pull it to this peg if you like. You can do it. And this is, will be our cap band. So I'm just going to loop my single chain. So... I like that noise when the bands make the sound when you're making a single chain or any kind of bracelet. And now I'm just going to take my clip. That sounded awkward. Where'd my clip go? Oh. And I'm going to place it on these two pegs right here. I mean, bands. If it will let me. Okay, there we go. Pull it off the loop. And you can put your limb aside now. And then we take our, find our cap band over here, middle little Miss cap band, or Mister, and I take my C clip and place it on the side. And this is uh, the split braid. You can actually wear it like this. This is the split braid. There's actually three ways to wear this. There's this way. And then there's this way, there are actually four ways actually, fourth way, and here's the fifth way. So I hope you like this uh, bracelet tutorial, and again this is by me, and I will have original designs, more original designs, and other people's original designs up as, as soon as possible. And, yeah, please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure to like this video for more. Comment down below what videos I should make. And also, my Instagram and Twitter will be down below. And make sure to go follow me on there. And use the hashtag, Asia, hashtag Asian Girl underscore bracelets to share any creations with me on Instagram. And, by the way, I don't really go on Twitter, but still follow me. Because... I don't really have a lot of followers, so I don't go on Twitter. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, and bye! Love you all. Hello. I kind of was making this bracelet tutorial, and then I kind of forgot what I was doing, and I accidentally made the Tafty braid. <laughs> oh, accidentally. But anyways, I remade the video, and obviously you just saw it. So, yas. I mean, yay. I mean, whatever. That was really awkward.